This is you. Now this is a pro. What's the difference here? Well, the pro is killing everything, and you're not. Okay, I promise there's a point this video, and I'm not just gonna waste your time. By the end, hopefully, you'll feel not only much more confident in your aim, but more importantly, you won't feel as bad about missing quote-unquote easy shots. Aiming is a complex task, but as humans, we are easily executing complex tasks every day. Even walking is arguably just as complex as aiming, if not more, and we learn it as, like, babies. So why is it that you watch every educational video you see, play 8 games a day, and still miss shots like this? At some point, you need to realize that you are already understanding the game at a high enough level to outplay your opponents. Your aim is just worse than your game sense. This is likely you if you often find yourself thinking, I swear I played that correctly, I just missed all my shots. A common misconception a lot of coaches try to preach is that aim doesn't matter at all, or if it does, its impact is very minimal. I'd argue that this is 100% false. Game sense is extremely important but if you just watch any pro match for 0.2 seconds, you can see that everyone's aim in the lobby is 200 times better than yours. Fortunately for you, this isn't because they have an innate ability to aim really good, or even that they know something about aiming that you don't. They just have more experience than you. Ye, for example, sometimes plays up to 27 death matches in a day. That's a lot of practice. Not to mention, all the hours these pros have like put into practicing their aim before Valorant even came out. Some of y'all may argue that like you aim train every day and still whiff like I explained. I too is just like this, however aim trainers only improve your mouse control, whereas aiming is much more complicated than that. Since you are in a high pressure environment against players who are actively trying to kill you while simultaneously trying to dodge your shots, not to mention the fact that you also need to be trying to dodge their shots, in which you pretty much don't even practice in aim trainers. Okay, I get it, so what can I do about it? Well, it's actually super simple. Just practice more. Specifically, play more death matches, like a lot more. For some of you, this might even mean playing deathmatch more than you play ranked. And it might seem counterintuitive with all the YouTube gurus out there, but seriously, just try it out for like a week. I promise it helps a lot. Now, I know this isn't enough for some of you guys, so I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can do to get the most out of your practice. People are out here making things way more complicated than they need to be, so I'm going to keep it simple for you guys. First of all, keep your sound on, turning it off doesn't matter. If it's boring, feel free to blast your favorite music, it can help with motivation. The most important thing here is maximizing your number of gunfights. So no matter the map, full sprint to the area that has the most action every time you spawn. That way you can fight as many people as possible. Plus, people will hear you and potentially like run straight at you. Now that you know how to maximize your gunfights in deathmatch, it's important to understand how you should be engaging in those gunfights and where your focus should be. Obviously, fundamentals like movement and cross replacement are very important, and you should definitely be keeping these in mind while practicing in deathmatch as well. But I have lots of other great videos on these topics, so if you're still curious, you should definitely check those out. My primary focus in these deathmatches is to maximize the speed at which I improve my aim. I do this by focusing on a couple of different things during the deathmatch. It's important to avoid spraying as much as possible because not only does it lead to inconsistency, we want to be training our accuracy and target reading skills as much as possible. That means sticking to 2-3 to three bullet bursts while primarily aiming for the enemy's head. You can even do some deathmatches with only a guardian or sheriff to like really work on this. However, I usually just stick to the vandal because it's the primary weapon I use in my ranked matches. One last thing I do in all my death matches that really dials me in and like helps me learn the fastest is it's kind of unconventional, but basically I just put extra focus on really focusing on my visual acuity. I do this by putting an extra effort to visually focus on the target while aiming. I feel this helps a lot for a couple of reasons. For one, it helps me focus and tune out distractions, but also I think it helps me better read the target's movements. Not to mention, aiming is a hand-eye coordination skill, so really the information your eyes are bringing in makes a pretty big impact on how well you can aim. All in all, if you find your aim to be lackluster, there's likely nothing wrong with you. You just need more practice. So maybe just play some extra death matches every day and really put in that extra effort to improve. There's no need to feel bad about where you're at 
Just like weightlifting, you can't get stronger without putting in the work. Hope this helps. Have a good day, you guys. Peace.